round six is not very tricky so I'm not going to show you too much to do with it it's just double crochet UK terms all the way around in opaline glass which is that beautiful color um, because it's really straightforward it is back loops only all the way around double crochet um, you don't need to sit and watch me do that because you've done plenty of double crochet already but before you start or in, even after you've kind of done it, whatever, just have a little stitch count check. That's my advice to you on these more straightforward rounds. Have a little check that you've got the right amount of stitches. Go back, make any corrections at this point because we're still on relatively short rounds um, and this is the time to put any little um, discrepancies right when you start doing the longer rounds and you have to rip them out. It's not fun. So just do a quick, stitch check and um, get your double crochet round in and we'll move on to round seven round seven here we go round seven is another pepper round so that's a lovely bright red and we're um happy to be using that again um let me just show you if i put this over the completed mandala you'll kind of see where we are with that so we're really starting to make progress on those poinsettia petals what's also interesting i think is that if i put that next to um the completed round six you can see that rows sorry rounds five and six are almost completely hidden on this piece uh with the exception of those front post trebles from um round five there the reason for that is that we're really bringing our overlay crochet into play on this round which is to say we're going to be using the front loops that are left over uh, when we we made um the, the last pepper round so the front loops you can see they're still there ready to, for us to work into that's what helps us to hide these sort of foundation rounds if you like so um there's a little bit of a challenge with this row because we you know we've got to get used to working into those front loops it's nothing too arduous and we can certainly work through it together so please don't worry about it and the only other slightly out of ordinary thing that we haven't done so far there are some increases in this round again nothing at all to worry about increases are just two stitches into one so not a problem let's get started Right, I've got my um, pepper yarn here and I'm going to be joining it, according to my pattern, into any of the um, double crochets that sits directly above one of the front post trebles from round five. Um, so I'm going to go right up into here. Don't forget we're working back loops only unless we're told otherwise. So we're going to join that into the back loop only there. So I've joined that in. And I've made one chain. So that's going to start as that's going to count as our first double crochet on this round, okay? So the first part of our repeat is to do an increase, and an increase is just two double crochets into the one stitch. So there's our first double crochet, UK terms, don't forget. And here's our second double crochet into the one stitch. So that is an increase, that's it. You've done it, that's as terrifying as it becomes before I go further I'm just going to take my hook out because the next um, stitches are worked into the front loops of um, round five four <laughs> round four which is the pepper round it's kind of easy to to know that because you're matching color you're, you're just going to work the same color into the same color I wanted to show you the little group of front post uh, front loop stitches that we've got available. We've got five going across here. Let me show you one, two, three, four, and five. Now, all throughout this round, our repeat is only going to need us to use the two st stitches to the extreme left and the two stitches to the extreme right. The middle one. We don't we we don't use that loop, okay? So if you want to use that as a, a um, an anchor point and look to the right and then an anchor point and look to the left, that is probably a good idea. And indeed, what Amanda tells us to do in a pattern, and she's very wise and she knows that Amanda. So we're going to be doing some trebles into the front loops. So let's do a first treble. Our first treble is going to sit, sit into the front loop, which is two stitches to the right of the center point. So that extreme right, if you like, of that little group that I showed you. Now, I won't fib. It is a tiny bit tricky to get your hook in 
there if you're not used to to doing this or even if you're just me it's it's a little tricky but persevere because you will do it it's there it's available to use make your first treble I have said haven't I UK terms it's UK terms I have said that so there you go you have now used the first front loop um I don't know maybe you want to stop and congratulate yourself perhaps a, a sash and a tiara that would be absolutely appropriate um another one now just moving along so the second available loop there so this is to, to the directly to the right of the center post let's put another one of those in so that's two trebles that we've done now we're going to go back to our old favorite which is a front post treble and we're going to work that one we're going to work that one around the the front post treble that's there already so nice and easy to work out where that goes so hook front to back and then through round that treble front post treble there and complete our treble in the normal way oops i've dropped that let me do that again okay okay so we've now got um three stitches sitting along there lovely two more trebles to do now into those front loops and helpfully we've got two loops left now when i was working the the round on the other sample to show you there were occasions when those two stitches were a bit more tricky to see perhaps i pulled it a bit too tight on the round or whatever but they were there so get your magnifying glass out if you have to they're definitely going to be there if you've worked it all correctly those two loops will be there to work okay so that is all the stitches you're going to work in those front loops for the moment the final part of our repeat is to skip five stitches from this uh, opaline glass row so let's pull this work forward i'm going to take my hook out and we're just going to have a little look at that together do be careful because it can be a little tricky to spot sometimes which um, stitch you've worked into you can see it quite clearly if i move it about a little bit because the yarn's going through it so ignore that and we're going to skip five stitches so one two three four five they're not going to be worked into we're going to work into this stitch okay i shall just leave that um, needle there now so you can see and we're going to start our repeat again so our repeat is an increase i've lost my place <laughs> already i looked away one two three four five sorry um our our repeat is an increase so it's two double crochet into the one stitch back loops only don't forget there it is okay our first treble goes into the uh, loop which is two to the right of the center post so there's our center post there's the first loop there's the second loop heidi 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 oh go in there little hook there we go so there's our first treble second treble goes right next to it which should be the stitch directly to the right of the front post okay third treble is a front post treble and it's working around the front post treble from the previous pep around around it goes oh dropped it okay fourth treble is in uh the next loop available so you should have two loops left in this little section there's one and the last treble goes into the last loop available okay just double check you've got a a little group of five one two three four five pull the work forward miss your five stitches behind one two three four five and start again so there is your repeat an increase five trebles miss five stitches that's your that's your repeat okay so i think you're all right with that now obviously you can rewind and watch that bit again i'm going to whiz round and i'll see you at the end for the needle join okay i'm back um towards the end now i think i may stop showing you needle join at this point um we have, as I said, got a standalone video if you still need some help with it after this, but um, I don't want to bore you. So um, here's the last needle join for, for now. So I've put my, I've thread my needle and I've passed it through that live stitch and I'm just going to cover up stitch number one with that stitch that I've just made. 
Okay, so like I said, there's some um, plenty of help with needle drawing on our YouTube channel and the previous videos if you need it. But from now on, I think we're good to go with that, aren't we? So there we are. Round seven, done and dusted. We're flying through. Let's look at round eight. <laughs> 